Hello then, welcome back to the Ottomans. Last time, well, I, uh, I believe fought a war against England and Aragon. We also integrated Navarra and uh, Navarra and Granada, which gave us a lot of new uh, new land, more troops <laughs> to boot. And I guess this time we'll actually go ahead and declare war on uh, on Naples for. Well, the sole purpose of taking these two back and also taking some more lands of Canano over to Ferrara. I'm also very tempted to go off the Pope in, uh, himself here. Um, once again, I'm a little bit unsure what I actually want to do because I have no idea where the Pope actually there is. It's in Westfalen, which is kind of far away. Because once again, I should re remember that there is an event that makes, uh, that can make, well, the AI give up Rome. Because you wouldn't do that yourself. Uh, at least I wouldn't. But it happened. Nothing to do, uh, <laughs> no, uh, no way around that. So, I did lose Rome for, well, a stupid reason. Didn't know sell out of me even now. But we will find Naples. We'll take back our two cores here. We'll probably also aim at... We'll still have some Portuguese Patriots rising up in everywhere. Yes, I am uh, a bit annoyed. But not to do with that. We'll at least add a little bit of a... Well, some units to our army here. And then we'll deal with those, um, those rebels. Unfortunately, I have to deal with rebels myself now. Can't really rely too much on my... On, on my vassals for that, which is kind of bad, but shouldn't actually be that much of a problem. As I said, I will go off the, we'll go after Naples here. We'll be trying to take a Bruce Bari, uh, even Salento. I think I believe I have a Casabella. I have Reconquest and I have Holy War. So I guess we'll just take the Reconquest, take these two, and we'll probably go off to Corfu, a Bruce Bari, uh, Lucania probably rather than Salento because I can fabricate a claim on this thing, and then get a uh, Holy War. Conquest war cast of ally down the line. Don't want to don't want to waste that. We'll at least allow our troops to uh, get back uh, back home. I'm a little bit unsure. I don't think Naples have that many troops that actually matters. So let's take a quick little look here on well we'll start by name since I don't think they have that many. So let's see your Naples, Naples, where are you? There you are. Fifteen thousand. So I guess these twenty K should be more than enough. They have a general after all. Uh, we'll use the rest of our troops to deal with uh, Austria and uh, and their allies shouldn't be too much of a of a problem that either. I'll place these guys basically in position to great crush that Austrian army right from the get-go and then we'll go or we'll go straight for that uh Napoleon army and that should uh, that should probably be enough here. Austria actually left just left the coalition which is also kinda of good. Because I believe they're uh, wow, people start leaving already. Well, that won't last for long. Go for take course Zeta here, I guess. Um, once again, it's not really important keeping Austria in this wolf long, it's more important to actually get him out of it. I'm a little bit unsure how I would actually deal with Styria if I should go for seeing if I can vassalize them or not, but I would kind of believe that I won't be able to. So, uh, nothing really we can do with that, but we'll go re <laughs> reconquest, take back our course, and hopefully get some, some extra land while we're at it. So, let's see if we can catch those guys in VN. Uh, we should be able to mostly destroy their armies here, I think. Uh, or we might actually lose... Yeah, we'll probably lose the minus one because of retreat. It's too late. But at the very least, here we'll be able to destroy the Napoleon armies, uh, more or less, almost completely. And uh, with that, we have already already won this war, I dare say. These guys decided to split up. It's a very... Very, yeah... Uh, very bad splits, more or less. So let's see if we'll do this. Simply start the... Yeah seating of something else and we'll have these guys start seating these three well i'm basically all the goal apparently naples is actually a war leader which once again is kind of hilarious here but that means at the very least that i can simply peace out austria uh, rather soon than i would uh, i would uh, presume and also now if i use these troops now to invade or attack these guys i should also be yeah uh, also be fairly safe in doing so so things are looking good. I'll show you if there is any more interesting battles, but for now I think it should basically be, yeah, be easy easy pickings, just sieging, and then uh, and then make the peace deal. We'll see how it goes. Aragorn Lancashire has just been called, which means that my overextension issue is slowly but surely getting yeah, getting better. We have now only 44%. I'll probably, as I said, release these two as vassals and settle up Girona, so it's not really anything um, anything bad on, on that score. But for now, we still have the, uh, the problem of the collision here. And as you can see, the funny thing is, the collision is actually... Uh, if it wasn't for the Mamluks, I might actually have considered attacking France. But 
uh, as of now that doesn't really make too much sense. So what we'll be doing is just keep on uh, keep on harassing the Austrians here. They are losing a lot of troops. There are almost no troops left, which is kind of weird. I would have believed they would have more. I actually have, uh, have more trouble with the rebels here. So I guess we'll actually go ahead here and just accept their demands. As you can see here, Algarve will get local autonomy, but it gets rid of those 13k troops as well. So uh, no problems there. We can also now call the siege Austria. And all in all, everything is uh, kind of looking up here. We should be, we should be able to... Uh, I guess I'll place those guys in Linz since they have a, uh, they are, I should put this, they are big armies, so it's better to place them where, uh, where I might actually run into enemies. But I'm pretty sure that all of these are mostly just stationed in Savoy and, uh, and also to some extent on this island here. So sieging is basically all the remains now, we are literally done with this wall. We actually lose this battle, the fact that there's a lot of forces in this one, I would be very pissed <laughs> right now, but uh, numbering them by far. But we did win, so that's good. But for now, as you can imagine, the yeah, that is kind of what kind of expected. But timing sucks. When when if France, Aragon, East Frisia, and Pomerania, timing sucks. But otherwise, it's actually a good thing. And would have of course preferred to have these guys for these battles. So we'll probably just uh, we'll probably just make peace here. No real reason not to. I can get rid of my. I'll have these guys run and hide for now. I'm very tempted to actually take capital Constantinople. I will get a running wall score. They won't actually be able to fight me that much. So, finishing up the war with Naples and Austria is potentially a very good thing because I can get away from uh, get uh, England to declare, declare the coalition war. What the hell is going on here? So this one actually the Mamluks join in, but this one only. Okay, what the hell? I have two coalition walls against me at once here. That's kind of bad. So let's see here, who is England in coalition with? They have the Mamluks. So that, I basically want to get out of this one at, at once here. Of tribute, I will release... Uh, let's see, Albania... Nope. Maria... Ragusa... Serbia, no. Valakia, no. Well, maybe. See, how much more do I need? A lot more. Treaties, uh, council vassals. Ugh. I could give back Cumbria simply to solve that issue. Northumberland or Yorkshire. Can I bribe these guys or do they want more? I can actually bribe them. Right, we'll actually just do this and this one. Hmm. I guess we'll do a little bit of waiting here too. But the problem here is that they are actually two collision walls against me, and I might actually have to release a little bit more land than I would actually, yeah, actually like. Hopefully, I can get these two from Naples before the collision war is over. Uh, I have no idea if I can actually piece out Austria right now, because if I can, then yeah, then I will. Uh, we'll get rid of Austria. We need we need the forces elsewhere. So let's see, Austria, Genoa, and Savoy. If I can get now my troops over here, then it's still not hopeless in. Well, taking down the French, but even so, it's kind of a risky move. I'm kind of in trouble here, to be honest. Mostly due to the fact that I can't bypass the Neapolitan uh, Navy, so I need to actually keep on fighting for a time here. England will, of course, also most likely just run through this army, but as things are standing now, I could potentially also screw over the English fairly well. We can, of course, keep Scotland and England safe for ourselves. The problem is that. Denmark is also in war with me, with the English here, I believe. No? Did they join the French? Yeah, then I actually need to get the French out then. The French is actually kind of more scarier. Um, I have no idea what, how to actually deal with this, but for now I'll just finish the uh, the war with Naples and I might release a nation or two to get out of this, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, the French have actually sent a lot of troops into our lands already. I have no idea what these guys, or what it would actually cost to be some of these guys, 55. French military strength, France will see the front, relative strength of alliances, um, a lot of shit basically. That's uh, going to screw me over, give Almeria, uh... Council of Vassalization of Croatia is actually enough, Ferrara even. I should really attempt to just Council of Vassalization of Portugal, but that island will be annoying, so we'll not do that. Scotland, uh, no. See a release nations, Albania, Bosnia. Is that a, 
Oh, they are quite big there. Fairly big. Bulgaria, four provinces. I think can annex them in one war, so it's not really that much of a fuss. We'll, of course, screw up my economy quite a bit, so we don't want to do that. Hmm. See, Serbia. Lucky and Serbia. France does not want parts of this over. Um, so, yeah, we have a little bit of an issue here. I have no idea if I can actually just bribe my way out of this one. Just let's say here, I'd have these Valakia and then pay cash for the rest. I can actually do that, but I will have to take a couple of loans in order to solve that. Uh, how much aggressive expansion do I have at the moment? 90, so in three nations basically. I think all five, it seems like. The English do have a lot of troops too, though, so that's kind of bad. But if I could just pick up one of these armies then it should be potentially a, a victory for our side here but I would guess that is uh, very much another possibility uh, if we could land an army here and start picking off these uh, smaller uh, French stacks that might be a way to deal with this but right now we'll mostly most likely just have to continue trying to uh, trying to win smaller victories and then uh, and then solve things that way I have no idea how to actually uh, actually deal with this in a uh, in a fair manner, as it were. So for now, we'll just, I guess, make peace deals once the once the time comes. If I can get rid of, yeah, I'll have to make peace deals with both of these. So no real, no real, uh, no real. Uh, when you're waiting, two hundred seventy-three. I'll have to take five. I'll have to take a bunch of loans, which is of course bad. Probably five loans each. Ten loans. Uh, my country will be screwed for five years. Then I might as well release a couple of bigger nations to make it uh, make it cheaper. Let's see here, uh, clear alpha. I could potentially release Bulgaria and Wallachia. That shouldn't actually be too much of a problem. Uh, I need five nations, of course, so we'll go for once again the small ones: Maria, uh, Ragusa, things like that. Of course, if I can get those uh, those two from Naples, that would also be everything that I need to solve this issue and as of now I'm not that far away so I could potentially also uh, just aim at getting that done we'll see if uh, if it's possible or not I just need Epirus or Kenya to fall and then uh, then that's done so we'll try and try and do that we'll basically stay on the defensive and hopefully that will be enough to actually uh, actually get the resource that we that we uh, <laughs> desperately need here there is actually no other way of saying that so uh, Hopefully we can pull this off, but I didn't actually count on there being two coalitions. That is, uh, that is beyond my expectations because I haven't actually experienced that before. That they decided to uh, do a double uh, take, double attack, whatever you want to call it. The fact that the French have actually, once again, the French is, it's actually very tempting to continue the French war due to the fact that they have, right now, their army split up so incredibly much here. Let's see, that's three. The entire army is in this area, and if I can just land a big army and just march them down, that could actually work. The problem will be getting that army there, but, uh, so yeah. Let's say that's 1, 2, 12, and otherwise just, yeah, this could work. If I can sneak this army onto Rossi Lawn or something else, somewhere else, that could actually work here, but who are these guys actually? Denmark is actually someone that I can peace out with individually, so that's not actually a problem. These three to has Pomerania, Aragon, not actually dangerous people. It's actually really tempting to continue that war and just try and finish this one. This one I will peace out of, release a couple of nations. But as things are now, we are basically very much in a position where I would actually prefer fighting the uh, the French, at least giving it, giving it a go, even though I don't actually have the... No, we'll, we'll not. I don't have the vassals ne necessary to actually pull this off. <laughs> well, that I guess that sells it. There's a limit to what I can do, and right now I have already reached that limit. Uh, we have got our, uh, our, our counties back, so that's fine. We can, of course, then uh, peace out with uh, with our enemies here. We'll fight France on our own terms rather than their terms, which in this case is no manpower, missing <laughs> missing troops already. England and everyone being uh, being dancers and otherwise being in, in trouble here. So what am I currently giving? Wallachia and a ton of cash. Uh, 
the lucky end out actually that uh how should I put put this? I think that rich side matters. So let's do this here. Let's see here. Cash, how much do I actually have to pay them? Just to look. This is three nations as far as I know. Yes, yeah, three nations. And one forty four. So that gets that's get rid of France. Yeah, that's get rid of France. It's as I said, I'll have to pay my way out of this war, but it shouldn't actually be too much of a fuss. I can, I guess, I, I'm pretty sure that I can actually just declare a reconquest war on Akaia uh, straight away, so that's not a problem. And otherwise, we can just, of course, do the reconquest in, in five years' time. So, once again, not really anything that we really need to worry about. I need to build a new cog, but that's about it. And I keep all my vassals, I keep all my cores, so it's basically just a, a, a temporary lending of land. I guess I should call it, or could call it. Let's see, what am I actually giving up? I'm not giving up Bulgaria, that's a little bit too much. Albania, uh, Epirus, and where is Montenegro? I believe that is it's about it. Northumberland? I will not release Northumberland as a, as a free state, as it is. How much cash do I actually... They want other concessions and go. Wow, that's just great. Uh, I might actually have to release Bulgaria then, and this of course will screw up my economy quite quite heavily for some time. Especially if I have to release this much. Uh, how can I fight the Mamluks? How can I get rid of Milan? I can't. Facing up with the French might actually have been a very bad idea in this case. I might actually have to fight the, uh, the England. -ish. So let's see here. Can of course not actually a possible or a choice at all. I can of course hand over land to Rosulon, for example. It's a course I can't you know, that's not a cool. Uh my bad. Ferrara giving a Ferrara as a vassal. Not once again, not actually something I want. As long as I have calls on it, I can basically get it back, so it's not really anything that I need to worry too much about. Galicia It's what, six provinces will be two wars. Uh we'll probably We'll most likely not be able to ally anyone either. But I think I can live with that. We have how many? How many did we release to begin with? One, two, three, four. I need to release one more. So once again, I'm very uh, conflicted in what I actually should do here. Releasing Northumberland could potentially solve this. It's just one province, which is kind of weird. It's just one province, right? Northumberland is just one province, and it's a Scottish core. How can Northumberland be worth as much as... Let's see here. If I release Northumberland... ...rather than Galicia... How far are we away then? Say 18. 18 more scores. So, Northumberland and... ...Bulgaria... Bosnia. Bosnia is a little bit bigger. Bulgaria rather than... What the hell? Yeah, um, this has got to be a bug. If you if you, uh, if you you see what I'm seeing here. Uh, Bulgaria is 2%. Same with Bosnia. So I'm not sure if that's because of Northumberland. It's probably because of Northumberland. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit unsure here. But I think we'll actually just go for of Galicia and that should be yeah that should basically be it we'll have to focus a little bit more on getting lands back mostly uh, in this case Galicia but it shouldn't be a problem I don't think they can colonize in five years time and even if they do we should be able to, to screw them over rather rather quickly um this will most likely get rid of all of the coalition so that is good that is uh, that is great they will actually agree to cash so I'm wondering can I bribe them like this they want other concessions, so if I were to, let's say, give Albania as well, Epirus, it seems like they want some concession and go something something else. I can actually get away with Northumberland and the same minus that I usually do, and of course this seems like a better deal. I think that England will actually declare war on Northumberland reconquest or something, so that's not a problem. Uh, but actually I can just annex them and sell them back to Scotland. I probably don't want to actually have to give away any cash at all, almost, yeah. So yeah, I'll end up with one loan and Northumberland, and 
these uh, three miners here released. So I'll actually get basically perfect, uh, it's a perfect way of solving this issue. But once again, the fact that there were two collisions is kind of out of my expectations because I haven't actually uh, experienced that before. But Northumberland is now a def def definitely a target for us. And France has made themselves a big bit of a target because they are starting to become a very annoying uh, actor in this, uh, this scheme of things. But for the time being, we are looking pretty well. I can, of course, now go for another war against Naples, Pope. Uh, I believe I can actually go for a war against the Pope here because Austria is actually having a peace, a truce with me. Basically, most of Europe does. So I can now start picking on, let's say, Venice, uh, Austria, Hungary. There's a lot of people that I can actually pick on. And I will have to annex these people again, but I'm pretty sure I don't actually have any. You know, I have no aggressive expansion anywhere right now. So that is great. That means that I don't actually have anything to worry about. I do apologize that this episode became me, basically me just mumbling about myself or how I would solve this, but uh, that is kind of how things actually uh, end up playing out. I did not know that two coalitions could declare war separately, and also the fact that two coalitions could actually uh, well, declare war separately in the first place, because as I said, all members of the coalition will join, but apparently they must have uh, they must have changed that somehow where I found an interesting bug. Uh, no idea what it actually is. Uh, what the case actually is but uh, for the time being this is the end of this episode we have dealt with our uh, we have that dealt with some aggressive expansion we can now do a little bit more picking on hungary poland naples england uh so forth and basically deal with our problems we'll see how it goes next time thank you for watching please leave a comment praise criticism anything you feel like and i'll see you around next time bye